money to all our husbands, our fathers, our uncles, our brothers, especially everyone that have ever subscribed to any grants in Nigeria. I come on your way this morning again to admonish you. Let not your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Stop crying. Those of you that are in the hospital, I'm begging you in the name of God, please be strong. Be very, very strong. And those of you who have thought there is no other way again other than for you to kill yourself, to commit suicide. I'm talking to you this morning that please stop. There is hope for us. Apart from grants, there is hope for every one of us. And even these grants, I'm very sure there is no option for them other than to give us what they promise us. So I'm begging you to please, please stop crying. Overthinking we give you high blood pressure, which I know majority of you already have. I don't want you to be thinking of back out. And I don't want you to be thinking I will be silenced. I don't want you to be afraid because I am not talking again what is going on. Everything is going on perfectly as we expected. I am not coming to tell you somebody promised me grants. No. I am telling you that everything concerning our plan to know the truth about UAAG grants and all other grants that they have already registered us with in Nigeria. I am telling you that our plan to know the truth is going on smoothly. Don't be afraid because you didn't hear from me. Don't think because I have not opened WhatsApp group to be adding people that maybe people are not working with me. No. We are not going to stop. We are not ready to stop. Every grant, we believe they brought grant to Nigeria. That is what I want you to believe, please. We are very sure, we believe, truly all of them bring grants. They brought grants to this country. So we want the government of today to assist us to check their documents and to even find out where the grant is. So nobody among you should be afraid. Those of you sending uh, messages that I should not compromise, I should not allow them to silence me. I did not come out to fight anybody. So whoever that's come out to talk about my movement, please ignore them. I am Temitokpelu Yemi Balogun. Anybody that come out or write message to, to, to counter my movement, please ignore them. Ignore them. Because I am not focusing my demand towards any one of them. And I've already told you that I'm not fighting Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Neither will I fight him. If there is going to be any fight, it is going to be with the government of today and we and they. Which means if there is no grant, the government is going to help us to ask him questions. That is just the only thing we need. We need the documents that not only UAAG grants, not only them, all other grants that have entered this country, that they have asked us to contribute money for them as a support 
or to register it, even if it is one one thousand naira like that of osim that we register with one one thousand naira so please i beg you in the name of god every one of you stand up be strong i am silent because i want to be focused i am silent because i don't want anybody any one of them to know my movement because i don't even know why they needed to know what i am what i want to do but since they are digging deep to know just believe anything anything i drop in that in that telegram believe that that is the next step and we might have even gone beyond that step but we just needed little information from you so don't let anybody uh, make you to feel bad i am the one they want to counter i am the one they want to fight i am the one they are threatening i have noted everything they said and uh, i am not moved when we get to where we are going they too will be invited let them come and tell them what i do to them why did they come out to counter me who sent them to counter me they will need to talk but i will not stop and i'm not ready to stop neither am i ready to tell anybody where i'm going i've told you we are meeting at efcc who will lead us there i will not tell you how are we going to do it just wait and see so i'm using this medium to tell all the women in in nigeria who have ever subscribed to uaag grants as ceo as bundle heirs or subscribers please get your colo that we call it colon in yoruba this local bank be keeping your money for transportation keep it there if there is nowhere for us to sleep we are government children government will welcome us we will sleep in their house we will sleep in the in in the government house so be getting ready because I temi tokpelu yemi balogun elon will not be the only person that will listen when they are reading out the document please take note of that just make sure you have your money with you for your transportation and i want to tell you that god is going to protect every one of us we will go there safely we will return back home safely with happiness in our hearts if there is any money any grants ready to to be disbursed they will disburse it if it, they are disbursing it and the, it's warrant us to be in the fcc abuja it will meet us there if it if we don't have any place to sleep they will look for where we are going to sleep there so carry everything necessary whenever you are called your bag your clothes your wrapper that you can use to cover your body when you sleep make sure you take it and i want to tell you please nigerian women don't come with your makeup we are not going there to dance don't come there with your attire we are not going there for favority we are not going there for ceremony let us go there as women who has been cheated as women who does not know uh, what to do again as as helpless women so if you are coming all women please take notes no makeup at all i'm begging you in the name of god we are not going there to play the pain in our hearts must be seen all over our body so that we will be able to help our men to put an end to this grant registration i mean this on or ending grant registration in nigeria all the available grants either they like it or not they will disburse it for us for the women that are working on the grant i say kudos to you for the men that are working on the grant i say well done sir and for all the document all the um, information needed that you have been sending we need more send the list the name we already got in the list 
But if we have 121 grants in Nigeria, we should be able to know the full name of the grant handlers and the phone number. That is the next step. Please kindly look for it and forward it to us as soon as possible. Let it not pass this week. Let it not pass this week. Anyone we get this week will work with it. Please take note. The list of all the grants that have entered Nigeria, all the 121 list that you have sent to me privately, we need more names from it. Yes, we know that we may not be able to get all the names immediately, but look for their full name and their phone number. Don't be afraid. We are not fighting with them. We are their partners. We are subscribers under them. So far, we, we subscribe. Our name is there. You have the right to ask questions. It's only we are asking. We are not fighting them. Why would they intimidate us? Why would they want to silence us? If there is anything they are hiding from us. So please get, let this be done immediately. Anybody that you know that have market grant, that he call himself a him or herself a grant handler, and you have submitted the name of the grant, we need the names of the person that brought it and the phone number. We are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. This year, 2024, this June, 2024, we are going to unravel everything concerning the grant that has been entering Nigeria since how many years ago. The truth will be told. We will get the truth. We already have enough proof now to demand for the truth. So we are we need the truth and we want to demand. Please, my fellow women, like I told you, we are not going there to dance. We are not going there to show ourselves. We want the Nigerian to see us, that we are suffering. We want the government to see us that we have been mixed and we don't have any other means again than to come out in mass and to demand for the truth of all the ground that have entered Nigeria in the past. And presently we are heading to EFCC because of UAAG grants. Because they told us that he is the owner. He told us, Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama told us he is the owner of the, of, of the mandate. The mandate stole from him that the name is written boldly in the document will be read to us when we get to EFCC. Don't be afraid, please. I am very, uh, we are very, very busy. We are moving on daily basis. And the only thing that can stop us is when we get the justice. The struggle continues. We are not going to die. Let them continue to threaten me. Let them continue to say whatever they like. Let them continue to ask me questions. Why am I doing this? Just take note of it. When we get to where we are going, they will explain themselves better. God bless you all. I'm Temitokpe Eluyemi Balogun. Please send those names to us. We need it urgently now. And if there is any grand fighters in the past, Men, in particular, that have all the details of what we are looking for. This is women, a, a women agitation. This is women seeking for the truth of all the grants in Nigeria. So you men that you have all the details, kindly forward it to our WhatsApp number. We don't have WhatsApp group, please. And please, once again, I'm telling you, don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody scam you. Temitokpelu Yemi Balogu do not send anybody to collect money on my behalf. I do not send and do not send anybody to contribute for me. I have told you that if I needed money, I will call my my people and they will give me. Who are my people? They are the leaders of my organization and they will be ready to give me because they have been spending since. So please, I did not 
open any platform for you to contribute any support for me and i did not send anybody to collect money on my behalf if anybody is telling you that i, I needed money and you want to use it they want to they want to help me they want their group want to help me so that they will be part of this struggle please ignore them i did not send them we are not in need of money if we need money i will get it by myself and i'm not going to ask the public to give me please take notes god bless you women get ready we are going somewhere we demand for all the grants that we have ever subscribed to in nigeria we needed to get the proof we needed to get it to be disbursed to us they say that they disburse it to us or they show the government the, the document that carry the grants this is not the time of them using us cracking our head and doing the fight and rule in our midst no it will not work in this one it will not work any information you needed from me you can't get it because i do not ask you to come and join me so i will not send you any error whatever i need whoever that is ready to give me i will collect it and if you are not ready to give me please i don't need any explanation from you this particular thing we need government will get it for us and the justice will be served. God bless you, Nigeria. I am once again Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun.